Hello everybody, this is Ian Lamont, founder of i30 Media Corp and author of the Lean Media book blog and video channel available from leanmedia.org. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add an item to your uh, navigation. In this case, it's going to be a collection in Shopify. Uh, one quick thing, you're responsible for following Shopify's terms and carefully evaluate risk before following any advice online. And your experience may be different than what I show you based on what type of Shopify plan you have or maybe how far in the future you watch this particular video because Shopify does change things. So let's get started. This is one of my Shopify stores. I'm a publisher. These are technology cheat sheets and books that my company publishes. And what I want to do is I have a navigation up here. Uh, some of these are pointing to things like an email address or a contact form uh, or just a, a page on Shopify. Others are pointing to collections like catalog, Google, and Microsoft. So this is, this is one collection, Microsoft. If I click on this, it shows all my Microsoft cheat sheets and some books. Um, and then if I click on this one up here on the navigation, it goes to the Google one, which is this is kind of the same type of deal. I want to add another item to the navigation up here called new. It's a collection that has some new products. I just want to highlight that in the navigation. Here's how to do it. So go to your Shopify interface. And uh, collections is under products, but actually we don't want to go there. We don't want to go to collections because we already have the collection. What we want to do is we want to go to online store and then navigation. And a quick reminder, sometimes in Shopify, if you have a special custom theme or you've done some other customizations, things may look a bit different for you. So I have two menus here. I have the main menu that's at the top and the footer menu, which is at the bottom. I'll just quickly show you the footer menu. This is the main menu at the top. This is the footer menu down here. So we want to add another item up here, a collection called new. So I'm just going to click on main menu. And here are the items, the menu items. Down here, add menu item. Click on that and then give it a name. So um, actually, what I'm going to do is actually look for it first. So collections. And I'm going to just scroll through them until I find the one I want. Here it is, new. And it automatically gives the name. It's worth noting you can edit this a little bit. So I can just say new items. Or I can say new exclamation point. So let's add that and then be sure you click save. If you don't click save, it won't work. Menu saved. So let's go take a look at our masterpiece. Here's the old page. Here's the old main menu. Let's reload the page and new just showed up with an exclamation point. Also, if I want to, I can put this, I can rearrange this. I'll quickly show you how to do that actually. So new is now at the end. Let's say that I want to put it at right after home. I'll put it there and then click save. Menu saved. Let's reload the page again. And new just moved right there. For more information on how to get the most out of Shopify, go to leemedia.org uh, slash and click on the video link in my YouTube channel. It goes to my YouTube channel, which has lots of videos about Shopify as well as other programs such as Amazon Advertising, Amazon FBA, Amazon FBM. Uh, Amazon Advantage, I think, Amazon KDP. I've even done a, a few videos on unus more unusual services or special services such as uh, WooCommerce, which is part of the uh, WordPress universe. Uh, but anyways, I release new videos at least once per month, uh, oftentimes once per week. And it's a great place to get some tips and to improve your business or learn more about these technologies. My name is Ian Lamont. Thank you so much for watching. If you have a chance, please like this video or follow me on YouTube. See you next time.